and there we go there's our final product that looks really really cool what's going on seashell addicts Jeff here and today's video is gonna be a little bit short but I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my shells now while there are plenty of different ways of cleaning shells already on the interwebs I'm gonna give you guys kind of the way of how I do it and then you can kind of make your own judgment if that's the way that you want to go about cleaning your shells but either way there we're gonna get rid of the calcium deposits that are on top of the shells and I'll explain more about that here in just a second so here's what you guys will need you'll need some erratic acid um, I like to use coconut oil as a finishing touch to it. I recommend wearing a mask, not for COVID-19 reasons, but so that you don't breathe in this erratic acid. It creates like this uh, steam in the air that you don't want to. And then also it says right here, poison, danger. So that should be more than enough. Um, you're going to need a little bit of a rinsing station of water. And my most important part is the toothbrush. So quickly I go over what we're doing here. Um, as you can tell, all these shells... Um, they've got this like white coating on them, which is uh, calcium. So shells are made of calcium. And when you rub muriatic acid on them, the calcium disappears from the shell, bringing out its natural color. And then to keep the shells from going back to this like old looking status, I apply some coconut oil on them. So we're gonna go get right into it guys and we'll show you a before this is the before that we, we clean the shells and then I'll show you an after of cleaning the shells but we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of uh, showing you how I do it okay so the first step obviously is to put your mask on so we've all got plenty of practice in doing that and then I've got this small little container right here that I'm gonna put pour some erratic acid into And you don't need a lot of muriatic acid, just enough to cover the toothbrush with. So we're going to go ahead and start with uh, this seashell right here. It is advised to wear gloves while doing this, but I like to live in the danger zone. So for anyone that wants to comment below that I'm not wearing gloves, you are correct. But here we go. So I just dip my toothbrush in the muriatic acid, and then I scrub the shell. And you can already see the color coming back on the shell. When you're done, just do it again. See that? The color is already coming back from the shell. And then I rinse it, my toothbrush in the fresh water. I'm just kind of go over it real quick. And then I dip it. And there you go. And that thing looks completely different than it did before. And then the last step is toothbrush again, put it in the coconut oil, rub the coconut oil all over it, and then just let that sit and dry, and you'll be good to go. And so we're gonna do the same process again with the rest of these shells. Alright, check this one out guys. It is uh, really cool patterns on it. And we're going to go ahead and hit it with some erratic acid and see what it looks like afterwards. So give it one second. And also, just a uh, for, uh, reminder again, make sure to like, wear gloves. Do not do what I am doing other than the, the method works great, uh, but you will definitely need some gloves and I just didn't have any gloves for this moment. So let's go ahead and clean this one off and see what it looks like. This 
So what the muriatic acid is doing, it is literally eating away the calcium of the seashell. So the whole shell itself is made of calcium. Uh, so that's why you don't want to stick your shells in there for, or dip them when you're uh, doing the dipping uh, episodes. You don't want to dip them in for very long because they'll disintegrate. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like putting a shell in at the end of the video and watching it disintegrate. So we're just going to keep applying the muriatic acid to the shell. And the muriatic acid is doing its work and it's bringing back out its natural color. So this is going to look like a real, this will look really good after it's all, all said and done. Look at those beautiful colors there on that shell. So pretty. I'm going to flip it over. Keep hitting it. Alright. Turn it around, hit the tip of it. This one's really pretty. You guys can see the bubbles. The muriatic acid is just really doing its work. Alright. That's about good, so we're going to rinse it off. And there we go. There's our final product. That looks really, really cool. Alrighty guys, so that's how I go about cleaning seashells. Now the other tip that I have is after you're done doing the muriatic and then putting it in the water and then rinsing it, let it let, let it dry first before you apply your coconut oil on top of that just to kind of keep its color and keep it nice and fresh for a while. But by doing this method, at some point your shells will get the white rust back on them and you will have to clean them again. But if you want to avoid that, you can go to like a hardware store or a Hobby Lobby and buy an epoxy resin and spray on it and then it'll stay shiny for the existence of the shell that you have it for. Um, this last video at the end is just me sticking a tiny shell into some radic acid and showing you guys what happens when shells stay in there for their entire time. They will disappear. They will completely uh, get eaten up by the muriatic acid. So enjoy that video and look forward to seeing you guys next video. Um, I think I might be doing some geocaching in my next video, so that'll be kind of fun to look at, but we also might be doing some she shell hunting as well. Thanks again guys for joining me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.